what's up y'all welcome back to the vlog so y'all already know i had to get in on this like this has been all the tea all over the internet okay if you're new here i'm valerie and we about to talk about jada and will smith i'm about to do a reaction to their interview because it was a bunch of bs I'm pretty sure y'all seen it if y'all haven't let's go ahead and start watching it I also got some receipts that I'm gonna throw in there mm, nothing major <laughs> it might be some major to you but let's go ahead and start with the um, reaction so somebody made a statement for me that wasn't a statement I made mm -hmm. that went cray cray and one of the reasons why I wanted to come to the table is the media, the headlines. Oh. We specifically never said anything. anything. Yes. We were purposely not saying anything. Any headline that says Jada said or Will said or the Smith said mm -hmm. is not true. We specifically never said anything. Right. So. OK, let's stop right there. So Jada is saying Jada and Will are saying that they're only coming to the red table because pretty much because August came out and said what he said and that they had never said anything. First of all, if y'all even, y'all remember back in like 2011 when it, it kept on, rumors kept on populating that Will and Jada were getting a divorce? This is probably when all this was going on. Because Will and Jada, they were, I kept on seeing rumors and then they kept on negating those rumors saying, oh, this is my queen, oh, this is my king, we'll never get divorced and things like that. And um, that's when they had went through that situation where they had no longer were calling themselves married, but saying that they, were, they are life partners. Y'all remember that? That's when they redefined their marriage <laughs> and decided that they were going to um, change the rules and do what they want to do. So then um, th they already, in my opinion, starting off um, not being fully true for maybe just not remembering that they already really addressed this. Because even remember when um, Jada was dealing with J-Lo's ex or her husband at the time? Y'all remember when she was dealing with him? So Jada been doing her thing and Will has been doing his thing too, but I'm gonna let them carry on. Right. You know, and at the end of the day, yeah. I don't like how all of this came to be. Mm -hmm. That doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. It's all love, mm -hmm. honestly. And I would usually not, you know, that, that would be something I wouldn't comment on at all. Yeah. You know, and I feel like it's a situation that I, Considered private. You just feel like it ain't really nobody, no, nobody's, nobody's business. business yeah, but yeah. But now Black Twitter has <laughs> claimed it as their business. <laughs> but, okay, so she's say, Jada's saying like normally she wouldn't even address this type of thing, or they wouldn't even address this type of thing. I mean, I guess that would make sense if normally y'all have a. They don't want to describe it as an open marriage, but the best way for black Twitter or the best way for um, us looking in to describe it is an open marriage, you know, so, but she says she doesn't want to just, you know, they, that's not the label that they're putting on it. But I remember in an interview that they gave, um, Will said that he doesn't believe that one person can give you everything that you're going to need out of life like you're going to be able you're going to have to connect with other people in order to be um fully fulfilled in life and i believe that that's why in one of my videos i said i don't know if i could ever be in a monogamous relationship with somebody because i find myself attracted to different people for different reasons but um, let's go ahead and see what else they have to say. <laughs> feel like it's it's healing that needs to happen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I know there's a lot of stuff going on in the world right now. Yeah. Even though this is minuscule, I do feel like it's these kinds of things that create the world that we're in. Mm -hmm. And the idea of not communicating, yeah. not talking about it, not clearing the air, mm -hmm. and just being as transparent. Mm -hmm. Just Absolutely. being transparent. And I'm, I'm here with you. Yeah, I thank you for that, because you've been on a hell of a journey with me. So yeah, that's what we're going to start with, we're is that start this with... is a very personal journey. Yeah. 
that became very public. Yes, absolutely. Okay. So when journey when Jada says that there's a lot of feelings involved, I feel like they still she she and Will already had came to some terms. They're married. They already came to some terms on how they're going to operate in their marriage. They, you know, Jada entered into this relationship with August and now the relationship is cut off and August seems to be upset about the relationship no longer um, still being still on. So when she says that feelings are involved, involved and she feels like she should address it, y'all are sitting up here addressing black Twitter when this whole time the side chick, which is pretty much what the role that August was playing, is left out here in the wind, you know, still with his feelings hurt. And they're not addressing him. They haven't said anything. You know, y'all feel the need to address us, but have y'all spoken to August? I don't know. Maybe they have spoken to August. I feel like they haven't. Obviously, they haven't. If August took to Angela Yee to uh, to explain how he felt, but I'm gonna let you know. Let's go ahead and hear how her, cause if and then even in this interview, like with this red table talk, she's sitting here talking to Will, and I feel like she's almost. A, I'm getting a vibe like she's almost still apologizing for this situation to Will. She, you know, she. Even when she's talking to him, she's speaking, they are speaking to each other as husband and wife. And August is still on the outskirts. If you listen to the conversation that they're, if you know, if you listen, watching their body language and just listening to how Jade is talking, but I'm going to let them carry on. Absolutely. For whatever reason. So what happened, Jada? Okay, so let's start with, I guess about... Four and a half years ago, yeah, started a, there. I think it was about four and a half, four years ago, mm -hmm. um, started a friendship with August. Mm -hmm. And we actually became really, really good friends. Mm -hmm. And it all started with him just needing some help, mm -hmm. you know, me wanting to help his health, his mental state. Because for know? me, that was the thing when I, when... Um, when Aug first came around, he was he was really, really sick. sick. He was really you know? really sick. Yeah. And the outpouring for him from our family was uh, initially about his health. Yeah. And I mean, we found all those different resources, mm -hmm. you know, to help pull him through. Mm -hmm. And from there, you know, you and I were going through a very difficult time. Yeah. And we decided... I was done with your you, ass. Yeah, you kicked me to I the curb. I was done with you. Yeah. <laughs> we Marriages have that, though. Yeah, Marriages have that. Yeah, we basically... Mm -hmm. We broke up. We decided that we were going to separate for a period of time, and you go figure out how to make yourself happy, and I'll figure out how to make myself happy. Well, at that particular point... Okay. So he's... She's, she describes how her and August met. So her and August met because she felt like... Y'all know Jada likes to use her, um, likes to use, what is that that she likes to use? Y'all, she likes to use, um, this, uh, spirituality as an excuse for the things that she does or, to, or as a reason, her, that's her reasoning for the way that she raises her children. And now she's using it, um, to, uh, uh, give an excuse for the way that she ended up in a relationship with August. So she's saying that she met August. She was helping August, um, her and her family. So August was a friend of the family. And I guess while August was a friend of the family, he noticed that Jada was pretty much her. Will and Jada were having some marital problems. Because she says why it, while they were friends, her and Will had some problems. So... That was just, you know, he was there at the time. So, I mean, I could believe that was true. She was having some issues in her marriage, but Will says he was done with her. So, why was he done with her? What, what was going on within the marriage where he was done with her before she even entered into this relationship with August? They didn't get into that. I don't even know why these two interviewed themselves because why y'all two know we don't need y'all two to interview yourselves we need 
y'all need to bring somebody y'all need to bring tasha k up there or somebody so y'all need somebody else to be interviewing y'all so y'all like y'all pretty much jada interviewed herself pretty much this is trash but i'm gonna let y'all carry on and tell with y'all and i want to know why he was done with you what was going on honey in their relationship where you felt like i and i think it was because will was sleeping with that not speaking of tasha k speaking of tasha k y'all remember last year or so or a couple years ago tasha had that interview where she was talking about will and jada being in an open relationship and she also has showed that picture of the girl that Will was dating. I'm going to put the picture up here. I'm going to put a screenshot of the picture so y'all can see the girl that Will was dating. Will was dating a younger girl anyway. So Will was doing his own thing anyway. And how long ago was that? I don't even... that Tasha showed that probably almost two years ago. So they've been doing their own thing. So let's just hear what else they got to say. In time, it was indefinite. Yeah. I really felt like we could be over. Yeah, know? no, yeah. we were over. Yeah. And then what did you do, Jada? Well, you know, I think... Okay, and then she said that... Or they are saying that the relationship was over. Like, he really felt like it. What could y'all have been doing? What have Kim been done in that relationship? Because they still are together. They decided that they're just going to stay together. They're life partners. That he's... Will's is adamant that he would never divorce Jada. They will work through it, whatever it is. They'll come to an agreement on it. What is it that happened that made him say, I'm done with you? It had to be some type of infidelity. That would be the only thing. I mean, I, I can't imagine that is money. Jada makes her own money. I mean, she's not making maybe, I Will probably is earning more than she is, but Jada, she pulls in her own money. The kids are pulling in their own money. What The kids are grown at this point. Four years ago, they grown. Them kids been grown since they was 11. But what is it, what is it that caused Will to say, I'm done? I feel like it had to be some type of infidelity. It had to be. I can't see it being anything else. Uh, you know, that's like the ultimate betrayal. You are doing something out, you know, outside of our our marriage without me knowing. What is it? I don't know. What y'all think it is? Leave it in the comments. But let's keep on watching. <laughs> to a different kind of entanglement mm -hmm. with August. One thing I want to get clear about and clean up, one of the things that was kind of swirling in the press about you giving permission, mm -hmm. which is, uh, you know, the only person that can give permission in, in, in that particular uh, uh, yes. circumstance is myself. Yes, exactly. Yeah. But what August was probably trying to communicate, mm -hmm. because I could actually see how he would perceive it as permission because we were separated mm -hmm. amicably. Yeah. And... I think he also wanted to make it clear that he's not a homewrecker, mm -hmm. which he's not. I think so. I mean, because this is your red table and you like brought yourself to the red table. I think um, you need to say clearly what happened. As far as what? You and I decided we were going to take our space and what happened. Yeah. And then I got into an entanglement with August. That's what I said. An entanglement? Yes. <laughs> yes. A relationship? Yes. It was a relationship. Absolutely. I was in a lot of pain, and I was very broken. Now, in the process of that relationship... Okay, y'all. So this is where all the memes are coming from. All the memes in entanglement, Jada. She says, okay, and then that... Using the word entanglement is still her denying accountability for the fact that when, after she listened to August, knew his struggle, knew his background, because y'all got to remember August, he had a rough upbringing from all the interviews that he had about his background, about his mom. His mom was always gone somewhere with a crackhead, like his dad, his stepdad, they were crackheads. Um, and I, I want to believe that his mama was a crackhead because what is what are you doing dating crackheads like that just don't add up so and then his brother died he ended up taking over um, the custody of his nieces so and saying that he was going to raise his nieces 
in honor of his brother and he ended up being homeless he's got all these health issues and then you know he's been taken advantage of from these record labels and things like that so he's just out here in the wind he was a lost he's a lost young man so jada seen that and she was in a situation where she was messed up in her marriage and she took advantage of that so i don't want to you know she, but i feel like her she was in a vulnerable place and so was august august was in a vulnerable place but i want to say that her being an older woman her preaching all this spirituality why was she not able to discern that okay i'm not in a good place to be in a romantic relationship with this this guy i already see how hurt he is maybe i shouldn't go there with him i feel like it was selfish of her to move forward in a into a romantic relationship with august knowing that background and knowing that situation why would you enter into a romantic relationship with this this guy because you're hurt also your marriage isn't going right also you guys were on a break he was pretty much a side chick he was somebody that she used when she, while she needed someone to be there because will wasn't there but august was there you know and it's just unfortunate that he was there and that he was used um, and we're all used in some type of way in every relationship. We're all used. And hopefully he did get something out of that relationship. Hopefully he did find some type of healing um, out of that relationship. Once he gets over the hurt, um, he can see the benefit from being around there and learn. And hopefully he learned something. He just wasn't, it wasn't all about the sex um, and, the, you know, the uh, that part of the relationship. But even just being around somebody, even connecting souls with somebody you're going to pick up that energy from that person so definitely he took away something from that relationship but i can see how they came together both of their moms were some crackheads so i can see how they both uh ended up coming together during this time of need um would she want to call an entanglement which i feel like she needs to go ahead and own up to what happened and say we were in a consensual sexual relationship um and will saying that he didn't bless it uh yeah well i don't think that he gave his blessing but even in that interview that i keep bringing up if y'all google it um Will says that he gives Jada the freedom to be herself. And when Jada said that, she was like, Will is his own man. And I tell him he can do whatever he does so long as he looks in the mirror and is okay with himself. And I'm sure he gives her that same freedom. That might be a part of their new arrangement for their marriage. But let's go ahead and listen because they gave us 14 minutes talking of everything and nothing. But I'm going to let y'all continue to listen if y'all hadn't heard it yet. I was in a lot of pain and I was very broken. Now, in the process of that relationship, I definitely realized that you can't find happiness outside of yourself. Mm -hmm. And luckily enough, you and I were also going through a process of healing in a much different manner. Mm -hmm. I would definitely say we did everything that we could to get away from each other, only mm -hmm. to realize that that yeah, wasn't yeah. Possible. So we come to the red table. So I'm in I'm in the Jada position right now. So okay. you know you during that time launched into an interaction mm -hmm. with August. What do you feel like um, you were looking for? I just wanted to feel good. Mm -hmm. It had been so long mm -hmm. since I felt good, yeah. and it was really a joy to just help heal somebody. Yeah. I think that has a lot to do with my codependency, which is another thing that I had to learn to break in this cycle, mm -hmm. just that idea of needing to fix and being drawn to people that need help, whether it's your health or whether it's your addictions. Mm -hmm. There's something about that childhood trauma mm -hmm. um, that feels as though it can be fixed through fixing people mm -hmm. versus fixing me. Yeah. And I think that that whole process with Aug really showed me that mm -hmm. and taught me that. And I'm really grateful for that lesson. I feel like that husband, like I'm with you at the press conference. 
I'm not husband. I'm with, now I got to be with you at the press conference <laughs> while you lay to tell the world uh, about your transgressions. <laughs> Like I love, I love my baby. I'm gonna stand by my baby no matter what. Well, you know, I definitely. <laughs> okay, so she pretty much just said what I felt like she's what I just explained. She used that situation in order to um, overcome some things and um, realize some things within herself. But did Will just say he feel like he at the press conference? Did he just say he feels like he's Hillary Clinton when Bill said he had no relationships, <laughs> no relations with that woman? Okay, wait a minute. And then Will is also still protecting his wife's image because he said when you got into that situation with August. Did he, what did he call that situation? He didn't say it was a relationship. They are being very they're being careful about their word choice. Okay, I see that. They are being very careful about their choice of words. And like Jada said, she mentioned her um she her past using this as a um way to um she thinks that she has to go and help somebody. So maybe that's how she grew up. She was always trying to help her mom because her mom was a is was a crackhead, was a crackhead. So um yeah, that puts that together. But let's go ahead on and um, listen to what else <laughs> happened. I definitely, I definitely understand mm -hmm. um, why it would look that way or feel that way. But I actually don't look at it as a transgression at all. Through that particular journey, I learned so much mm -hmm. about myself and was able to really confront a lot of emotional immaturity, mm -hmm. emotional insecurity. Mm -hmm. And I was really able to do some really deep healing, mm -hmm. you know? And as I came through and started to realize certain things about you and I, he decided to break all communication with me, right. which was totally understandable. Right. Um, okay, so she says that through that relationship, this is why I feel like I probably couldn't be with just one person. Because through that love that she had, her and August had, it brought her some realizations about herself that her 20-year marriage didn't even bring about. Or maybe you can attribute her marriage bringing this about because there was problems in the marriage which led her to seek other people outside of the marriage to help clarify the things that were going on with her. So this is just a reason why I say different people bring different parts of you out it helps you realize who you are more and i feel like being with one person um the one person cannot do that and y'all can disagree y'all can argue with me in the comments whatever but that's just my personal feeling and on it and clearly this is this is what happened here you know but even though her and Will have been together, this is where August kind of messed up. Her and Will have been together in this 20-year, two-decade relationship. Their souls are tied. They have children together. That's like a double knot right there. They got two kids. They done tied it twice. They've been together for two decades. That's how many ever more ties. They're not about to leave each other. This is a husband and a wife. She says when she realized that she, you know, what was going on amongst her and Will, she came back to Will. She was like, okay, I'm done playing. Okay, I've come to some realizations. Will, let's go, um, go ahead and work this out. And that's what they did, okay? They're married. And people have to understand that about married people. Like, uh, these men, these women, if they're married and they've been to, and they've gotten this far in the marriage, they're going to more than likely stay together. So let's keep on watching. Um, and I let that be and hadn't talked to him since. No. So it is a little weird that all this stuff is coming out yeah. now since this was. Yeah, because for me, several... this was years ago. Right. <laughs> yeah. You know, so the fact that it's uh, coming up now and I think it could feel weird for people that we're laughing and, and talking about it. But it happened it, so long ago, you know, and our experiences of working through it, fighting through it, talking through it, uh, therapizing right. through it. I think that the why now is weird. Yeah. When I say it's been a huge healing on my life and just what I had to confront and discover, yeah. 
you know, about myself, yeah. the ugly truths mm -hmm. and the beauty. Mm -hmm. So it was something that I felt like wasn't really ready to mm -hmm. be discussed because it hadn't been that mm -hmm. healing because he hasn't wanted to, you know, Aug and I haven't talked in so long, you know what I mean? So I don't know, this, this, this all seemed very strange, yeah. you know, but I'm just, I'm grateful for the journey that you and I've had together. Yeah. Because I feel like there are a lot of couples that go through those periods. Yeah. And a lot of couples that have to separate and yeah. think it's over. And, yeah. you know, the one thing I'll say about you and I is that there's never been secrets. Right. We came together uh, young and we were both broken in our own ways. And to be able to make mistakes without the fear of losing your family is so critical. Yeah, it's the idea of any relationship and trying to get to deeper understanding of love is going to be forged in fire. Yeah. There's no way around it. Yeah. And I think that one of the things that I'm deeply grateful in this whole process between you and I is that we have really gotten to that new place Yes. of unconditional love. Because I wasn't sure I was ever going to speak to you again. I know, I know. Yeah, like the fact that I'm speaking to you again is a, <laughs> is a miracle. Um, <laughs> I would agree. I would no, agree. No, but it ain't for the weak at heart. There's just certain... She just said what I, what I pretty much said. That's how married... That's how relationships are. That's just how they are with married people. She said that... Will her, her and Will give each other the freedom to make mistakes without any type of repercussions that could happen to their family, okay? So did you not just say you gave August your blessing? That's what you said. He said he had your blessing, and y'all just said it too in so many words. And, you know, they just said that they would... They go through things in their marriage and they're not going to break up. So whoever is next to be her boy toy, just know that you are definitely just her boy toy. Okay. So just go there and just have some fun and then keep your feelings to yourself until, and <laughs> have fun while it lasts. That's pretty much what is going on. But um, they just up here kikiing and August over there hurt. They talking about this happened so long ago. That's why they could laugh about it. Well, August is still upset about it. He's still hurt. He Now he needs some different type of counseling to get over this. Things that you have to go through, and it's like... And I wish, you know, I wish that wasn't the case. <laughs> I do. I Absolutely, wish that yeah, wasn't sure. the hey, case. I sure wish it could be all magic and miracles. Yeah. You got to go through some to get the answers. Mm-hmm. You know, and I'm just happy because I definitely believe that you and I, we never, ever, ever thought that we would make yeah, it back. Yeah, yeah. There's a real power in the just knowing somebody's riding with you no matter what. Yeah. And you really can't know that. Until you go until through, some through some stuff, you know. I don't want to go through this no more. Yeah, no, I don't yeah. either. Yeah. I'm going to get you back first. And then you gonna get me back. I think you've gotten me back. <laughs> I think you <laughs> I think we're good on that, okay? <laughs> okay, that might that's probably true. That's you know, true. but um and I don't think it's about getting anybody back. No, for me it is. Okay. Um I'll give you that petty <laughs> if that's what you want. <laughs> uh. Um but you know, I will definitely say mm -hmm. it's just part of it. Yeah. You know, if you expect to be with somebody for a lifetime. 25 years and counting. Mm. He said he about to get her back. He got some get back to do. How are you getting back if y'all had an understanding? Like, what, what? So she cheated. She cheated. If she didn't cheat and y'all were broken up at the time, if y'all were separated and it wasn't cheating and she doesn't view it as a transgression because you all were not together, what are you getting back at? And I mean, I felt I feel like he was serious. He was like, nah, for real. Did y'all see that? She was like, okay, you want to be petty with it. I think you already got me back several times. 
And that was all the tea right there. They, mm -mm. they just, y'all got to remember, these just regular people too. They just actors. They just got a different type of job from us, but mm, okay. Part of it. Yeah. You know, if you expect to be with somebody for a lifetime. 25 years and counting. Mm. We ride together. We, we die, die together. together. Bad marriage for life. <laughs> <laughs> It's the truth. It's the truth. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's uh, it's just part of the journey. I told you the first year we were were married. What did you tell me? That I can love you through anything. And I didn't believe you. Yeah. If somebody looked through a crystal ball and said this, 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 and this is gonna happen, I'd be like, mm -hmm. no way. Yeah. You thought I was that that I didn't have the girth that it was gonna take to ride with I you didn't, through. Yeah, I didn't know if you would be willing to find the deep capacity to love me. Yeah. How am I doing? You doing great. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're awesome. Okay. I could just I if August watched that, I know he is so hurt because they are back kikiing, not caring about him, only concerned about reconciling their relationship, building their relationship even stronger. And it's just tough. It's tough. I, I feel his pain. And, um, yeah, y'all, it's crazy. Y'all let me know how y'all felt about this interview. Let me know how you felt about Jada's predatory behavior because I feel like that's what it was. She pretty much had her way with this young man. I know that she wants to use the excuse that her and Will were going through something, but I feel like she was way older than him and she at that time should had her emotions emotions in enough control to know not to enter into that relationship with august even given his mental state and all these memes and the guy seems a bit suicidal so i'm like kind of scared about all these memes and stuff and all these people having something to say going around on the internet because he seems like the type that will um yeah he seems suicidal so let's go ahead and pray for his mental health seriously but y'all wow i wonder who they in a relationship with now <laughs> they probably with each other right now laughing about everybody else that they didn't um have a relationship with and then went back to each other but yeah y'all it's been real y'all be easy thanks for watching make sure you like comment and subscribe y'all i just came here to touch on this because uh, I felt like it, but we'll be back to the regular schedule. Content, hair, beauty, um, all things baby royalty. And tomorrow I'm going to do that show recap. Probably later on tonight I'm going to upload that show recap for um, for the shy. I can't wait to see what's going on with that. This is a multi. Yes, y'all, my cup runneth over <laughs> with all the tea. Okay, y'all. So, yeah, y'all, y'all be easy. Peace.